Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, as you can tell, it's going to be a special video because, yes, my if you guys watched my last video, my graphics card finally came. So I finally got it installed, and um, now I'm going to be doing some Battlefield 4 um, benchmarks. So this is on the Ultra preset, preset, so it's a 1920 by 1080 Ultra. Everything's on maxed out graphics. Um, unless they're more excellent graphics. It's just the ultra preset. You guys know what the ultra preset is 1080p 1920 by 1080 so um, this is as you can tell the FPS you see on the top right corner That is not the FPS you will get if you're not recording like I am of course I'm recording on this with DX story so I do lose some frames like a uh, four or five frames I do lose but um as you can see on the top left corner you can see the minimum the average and the uh, max FPS of when I'm not recording on Battlefield when I'm actually playing um, without recording about before. So the average is 43.2 frames per second, the maximum is 67 frames per second, and the minimum is 33 frames per second. So those frames per second are totally playable, but uh, this card, the EVGA GTX 750 Ti, is not really an ultra preset meant card. It's mostly, if you're playing Battlefield 4, I highly, highly suggest to go with high graphics or go on custom and do medium slash high. But uh, for me, the ideal is high graphics because I get, because honestly, it doesn't look that much different from Ultra. I think Ultra, all it does affect majorly is the water animations and stuff like that. But uh, just go play on high settings or even maybe, if, if you care more about frames per second than what it looks like, Maybe even go on auto. I think auto, this card gets, um, I, I didn't check the average on auto, but I only did on, on ultra to see the max frames per second you guys would get when you're considering buying this card. So, this is the, as you can tell in the screen, the EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti, the For the Win Edition. I already did a showcase slash unboxing with quotes um, on my channel, so you can go check that out. If you want to see a real unboxing, what it looks like, I recommend the video from Jay's Two Cents. Search up EVGA GTX 750 Ti for the Win Edition from Jay's Two Cents. Uh, can I play Battlefield 4 benchmark? Blah, blah. Jay's Two Cents. He's an amazing PC gamer. Just watch the video if you want to see what the card looks like and how it like um you know the uh, real unboxing of it but this is what i got of course even if the exact same model every card card's performance will differ you'll just have to get lucky with which actual um you know <laughs> how much performance you get with your card i'm really happy with my card's performance it's um it's playing how it's it's advertised to be playing at and it's amazing i pl i love to play um battlefield 4 and battlefield 3 uh, I both play them on high and I get great frames per second over 60 FPS depending on how many players and if it's Conquest Large. This is, I forgot to tell you something, this is Conquest Large 64 players. So if you don't really play that much, like that e extreme gameplay, then you'll get more FPS. I just did this because I wanted to show you guys the max FPS, uh, you, the, the FPS you would get on this game with this card if you did maximum everything, like full out graphics and like 64 players and stuff like that. So. This is totally playable for you guys. Um, 43 FPS on average. It does drop if you want to record, but honestly, I would just play on high settings because playing on ultra is not not really meant for this card. If you want to play on ultra, go to the 7 760 or 770. Um, but honestly, if you have want a budget, great performing card to play Battlefield 4 and all your games perfectly. Go with the EVGA GTX 750 Ti for the win edition. The SD one with the, the, the SD version, not the for the win one with only one fan, is also great. I heard it's um just only a little bit, only a little bit less frames per second than the for the win edition, which is the one that I'm using. It's still a great card. So yeah, um, I really highly suggest this card, guys. Um, yeah, so it is on the screen right now. If the gameplay is good for you, of course, YouTube locks it at 30 frames per second. So I had to put up the FPS for you on top right corner. Of course, that's not the FPS that I'm exactly getting um, when I rec um, because I'm recording. So, yeah, it does drop some frames. But I will get NVIDIA Shadow Play pretty soon so that I can um, record and, you know, show you guys the true non-recording FPS when I... Because NVIDIA Shadow Play doesn't really drop your frames per second too much. And since this is an NVIDIA card... It's pretty awesome. So yeah, that's enough of me blabbing on. Uh, look to see for yourself if this card is good for you. If you want to play Battlefield 4 on its max settings, max, max, everything max out, even the players and the the map and stuff. Seas of Shanghai, Conquest, Large, 64 players, max out graphics, and an average of 43.2 frames per second. I think it's pretty playable and pretty good, even though this card is not an ultra level, not an ultra card. Believe me, this card is under $200. You can get it 
um, on a pretty good cheap sale on Newegg or Amazon or maybe even its official website because uh, yeah it's pretty cheap there on its official website too. So yeah that's basically it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I let the video play on enough of me talking you guys can see for yourself if this car is good for you and yeah I will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching everyone and um I'll have the link in the description for this card because it is a great card. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. See you in the next video. Peace out.